Hello guys, Chris back here again with another episode of MTGA Historic Brawl. Um, we're going to be playing Giraffe today. So, themes that are present in this deck are creatures with decent toughness, like this abomination, and artifacts like this. So we're running a lot more mana dorks, uh, a lot more artifact ramp than normal. Part of the reason for that is um, I have Paradox Engine in this deck, which ideally will um, I think I take this. Which ideally works really well with these kind of things. So we're still missing a land. Oh, well, there's one. So we'll play a Murmuring Mystic. And hold up uh, removal. Not counter spells. Bells and Lock was defeated. All it took was um, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana versus 2. To be fair, I probably would have kept whatever hand they did too, because that thematic compass, you really just need one more land to make it go off. And we kind of did that too. Um, so, magic related things that are happening. Alchemy is going to become a thing. That's um, mildly unsettling, but eh, not much we can do about it. Um, but to say, I started an MTGO account on the basis of alchemy because I don't know how much it's gonna affect some of the arena formats that I like because if it if it completely dunks on established formats and makes them way more expensive eh, MTGO suddenly seems like the better option for uh, playing magic cost effectively Although I am hopeful that, um, that wizards will hear the community and, uh, come up with some kind of amicable solution. Because for those of you who don't know, it would mean that certain cards in standard would be available to be nerfed. Which isn't like a bad thing, really. Like, it's good to be able to nerf some things here and there. What's bad about it is that they're not going to offer any kind of compensation for the effects that their meddling is going to have for the format. So, like, if we build a historic deck around a card in standard, and it's a pretty powerful top tier historic deck, um,. And Withers decides that the card's too powerful in standard, so they nerf a key piece of the card that was in standard. That will affect historic, and it will mean... Uh, it basically means you won't be able to get anything back from a card that you've crafted for the historic format because it caused problem in a different format, which is alchemy or standard. So it's a little... It's a little bit like they're trying to do away with the system where they offer you um, 
Oh, we're dead. We are so dead. So if we can survive one more turn, we can Entrancing Melody, Terror the Peaks. Uh, big F. I'm gonna kick it. Nope. Okay. That's gotta be our plan. Um, oh, what was I saying? Um, it basically just means we're trying to do away with the system where they give you uh, rare wild cards for cards that are no longer able to be played. Because now they can make a card that's playable and playable. Uh, and I don't think it'll actually affect cards currently in Historic. Like, I don't think they're going to go back and, like, nerf um, something like Dreadhorde Arcanist or um, cards that are already, like, part of regular magic. Well, I say that they are going to nerf things like Luminar Luminarch Aspirant and uh, Eskis Chariot. So they might end up doing something like that in the future if they're just not currently planning on it, which is... Eh, it's good enough for me. But like I said, I'm still a little bit worried about it starting to build up an MTGO collection because of it. To <sighs> the end of the day, what I like is magic, and... Magic... is fun to play. When you get to play it. Um, and if we're not going to be able to play it because of why did I just take damage? Oh. Class 3 life to so we are dead. Maybe. Yeah, we're dead. If they attack with everything, two damage will get through, regardless. Yeah, because they essentially have four blockers. I have three blockers, never mind. Okay. Oh yeah, Tajik. Tajik. He prevents non-combat damage from hitting your creatures. It's been a while since I played against Tajik. He is a cool commander. Uh, game three, I think. I don't know. I was talking a lot during that. So yeah, we won one. We lost one. And Tosk is the commander here, so we've lost two. Um, you know, before we start. So 
So mind stone into chromatic lantern into dragon into bigger dragon. That's technically a zombie. So we have five mana on turn four. Well, we'll have uh, six mana. I don't really have a way to deal with that. Mm, other than dragon. Koski is tapped. And the big toughness boys are here to stay. So this is actually kind of the basic plan of the deck. Um, one of the things that Alchemy has introduced that I'm a little bit more excited about is I'm going to be able to play like actual four-player commander online. Which I'm not confident enough in my MTGO skills to do that anytime soon. But maybe by the end of the year we'll have a full like commander game on the YouTube channel. That would be fun. Um, because my connection is still pretty small, we'll have to end up doing like budget for a long time. But that's not so bad. So a five five a zero six a one two. Hmm. Like I'm kind of doubtful that he's actually that good. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna do any damage. You might fight something, but. You're not going to draw any cards. First blood. <laughs> On turn six, this <laughs> uh, deck might be a little slow. Just a bit. Kind of a tad. Oh, God. I think we just take it. Yeah, no real point in blocking. I mean, it would save us some health, but it would only save us a maximum of six. Um, and we can do that later if we need to. Did Arena just crash? Hold on a second, I think Arena just crashed. We are back in. Trying to get back into our game. Um, turns out having the city's blessing, just too much. Poor old Arena, couldn't handle the stress. Um, which is weird, because it definitely should have been able to. Uh, we might come back to being dead. So we'll attack for five. And we'll end it off there.
So we do need a block here. And then we'll look at the top four, put two in. I was considering, um... So we'll block there. Only take eight. Activate Giraffe. I guess we only get five. Three. That's the answer, I guess. Okay. Pick him up, pick him up. Our boy's a wizard, by the way. So can we deal three damage before they deal six, maybe? Hmm. I think I'm mission briefing. Yeah, I don't want any of those. Oh. I'm gonna cast that. So we'll do it for five. All right, discontinuity something we're after. And we can't really attack because of that. I guess they're gonna cartouche down the commander? Yeah. It's a good call. It has vigilance. I can get patchwork crawler down. And then turns over, go home. Oh, that's bad. Hmm. 
No. Okay, it's okay. So we can hit for 10 this turn. Unless they have a hasty threat, we're okay. And then we can use Patchwork Crawler to get an extra turn. I don't know how stable this plan of action is, but You kind of need to fight down my, um, Patrick Crawler. Okay, we have a line for victory. We have a line. So, 7... Plus 4 equals 11, plus 1. We don't, do we? We were so close to having a line for victory. I think this is a better play. So, the way we win this... is still a ways away from me figuring it out. Yeah, Toski Voltron, pretty okay. So we put all of this in front. Just did not find it. <sighs> so close. Ah. Well, we die this turn. Well, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for letting me share my thoughts on alchemy. And I will see you in the next episode of Magic Gathering. Whatever form that may take, whatever that may take, uh, it'll be uh, not the sixth, seventh, though. It'll be arena. Don't worry. At least for the future, immediate future. My opponent is really dragging out this murdering us. Come on, you just gotta gotta swing. All right, I'm done. Alright, see you guys in the next episode.